What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. It's obvious because our names are on the screen. I don't know why I say yes. that every time. But welcome back, everyone. It's Nosferatu. This is episode five of season two. Halfway there. Halfway to the finish line. Bruce Wayne yes. McQueen, my friend. Bruce right. Wayne McQueen. Um, what's up, old. everyone? What's up, Mike? How you doing? You good? All right, can't complain. A little hot, but we're all right. Well, you know what? You should complain because it's fun. Uh, no. Yeah, it's very warm. My office is very warm right now. I'm sweating bullets. I had to turn all my fans off. Um, so uh, this was a good episode. This was actually really good. I liked last episode for certain reasons, and I liked this episode. There were some very, mm -hmm. <laughs> there were some funny little moments in this episode, which I'll get to. Um, yes. I will tell you that this scene, this whole, this episode was one of my favorite moments in the book this was this was very similar to what happened in a book now that means anything to anybody but me yes don't book, spoil it we are going to talk about the book a little bit um but first mikey we do have a poll yes uh, we, do have a poll. We, we did a little poll cat we threw a poll cat out there yeah the question was will Vic get back to her family before it's too late that was the poll we got mm -hmm. about 78 percent said yeah said hell yeah she will and 22 percent thought nah no way she's not it's not gonna happen um and the answer to that is we saw she actually did not get back in time so yeah. you know well she, i mean technically she did well she got back but he was already in the wraith right he, well so yeah so i guess the answer is no she didn't get back yeah in time he knocked out he knocked out um no good thing right they this was a, knocked out uh oh, yeah. this was a this yes. was a pretty bloody episode this was fun though this is a really good episode can we just mm -hmm. real quick listen so we have questions as usual yeah uh, yes, but I just want to—I just want to talk about the episode a little bit before the birth, the birthing. That was crazy. I mm. didn't, you know, how they did that. This episode is really like, yeah, it's really good on the, like the flashbacks and 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 you know, obviously like the, you know the, yeah. the, the special effects, very practical, look really really good, um, mm -hmm. you know. Except, <laughs> I gotta say it, man. I'm gonna go right to say it. The the yeah. shots, not that it looked bad. But the shots what, where the, she was the hit by the car. Going through the water? No, 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 no. Oh, she got oh, hit by the oh, car, just, dude. Yeah. Dude. Uh, you can tell she was on like a wire or the stunt person yeah, was kind of on a wire. But dude, I, la I laughed because it was like she went flying. And then they just show, and then they show Ashley Cummings like, just, like yeah. flying through the air. Yeah. It's like, okay, go. Yeah. I wonder if they like threw her off of something and made her mm. land on a mat or something. But yo, and she spent a lot of time in the water. You know she spends a lot of time in like whatever pool they were f filming in and stuff. Yeah, man. yeah, I know. That's I mean I don't really have any knocks, but I mean I think one of the things was, was funny. The way you know looked, how you know really how funny. brown that water really is, like that lake water. Oh would be, yeah, and it's course, like yeah. you can definitely so, tell she especially was in. in the fall. But I'm not gonna yeah I'm not gonna nitpick it. I mean they could have like maybe like toned the water down like somehow using yeah, maybe. some kind of computer effect i'm sure but but dude that's like really the only little and you, you you mentioned the bullets dude how many bullets does this guy have bro yes like are you serious yeah that was like the super clip five thousand. yeah dude it was like a non and then the only reason why he stopped is because he jammed it somehow yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was like what is happening so many it was an endless <laughs> amount of bullets shooting from that, i will from say i will say though that um Bing was a real monster in this. Like, oh, his, he's crazy. I, and that was from the book too. I love that. I yeah. loved his speeches and like he's like, "Oh, yeah. me next, Mister Manx." And then he's like, "Oh, well, how would you like if I ripped your cheek off and spit it on the ground?" Like, that yeah. was like that's that is the kind of Bing. That's the Bing from the novel. He's he's a lot yeah. more sadistic in the novel. They make him a little more simpleton here. Yeah. You know, um, a little less. Like like a little more help. Yeah, he's probably. definitely somebody that you're not gonna, you know. No. You don't um, want to mess with. He's he's very. Yeah. And he, I mean, the actor does a fantastic job oh, of, of being like a super creep, but yet like he has that kind Child of childish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, like a little bit of a simpleton. How? Yeah. Uh, tell me how you felt about the, the different perspectives rolling back onto the perspective. Oh, like as she was like seeing reenactments. Of, no, no, no. Uh, I don't mean the memory stuff. That was cool. That made sense. Yeah. But I'm saying like it went. Okay, so those chapters, like when oh, it showed, how like saw how she got to the place, Vic, and it showed the, yeah. the Bone Crusher, and then it showed Bruce, Bruce Wayne, and it showed, yeah. and then it showed right, and the little that's like from the book. Those are like the chapters in the book. That's what they showed oh, okay. in, in between okay, chapters yeah, no, in the book. They showed cool. that, and then they'd go back and show the different perspectives. 
Well, you yeah. saw like well, the one scene like when um, mm-hmm. when Vic was in the water and you see he's Lou running run across. Oh, it's great. And stuff. Yeah, it you really. Know, it was definitely, yeah, it was definitely cool the way they. I, I enjoyed that. this. Yeah, I enjoyed enjoyed the way it was shot. I enjoyed the way it was directed. I really another another good episode. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the season's been great. You know what they do though? I'm telling you, they they're. I bet you there's a lot of deleted scenes, because I feel like they're they're very uh, uh, not quick cutting per se, like as in the editing. But what I'm trying to say is I feel like they've they're 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 moving very quick. They're moving very, and I don't mind that. I honestly don't. But no. I know that there's a little extra stuff behind it. There's a few extra words here or another line here yeah. or something. I just feel like it's like we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, which is fine. Again, don't get me wrong. It moves at a clip, which is fine. Yeah, um, and we're always the we're always really the ones that are always complaining about the pacing of a lot of the shows that we that right, we review. Which, you so know, but it's uh, I want to say it's a, it's almost I I almost feel like it's a little stilted. Only because it feels okay. like, okay, we're going from here. Okay, now we're here. Okay, now we're here. But whatever, it's fine. Yeah. It, I, yeah. Again, it's fine for me because I already know the story. So I, I enjoy that we're going to get further. Like, that's fine with me. Yeah. I just, I wonder if anyone else. Yeah. Did. Um, so let me ask you this. Yes. What did you think when he was hitting her on the in the back? What did you think? Well, at first I'm like, damn, how much, how much damage can she take? But then they kind of show that she had like um. So you didn't realize like so, her so motorcycle we'll, jacket. It, so it, it has had, like metal had armor. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't because know they, that, they right? They show it break. No, at first I'm like, damn, He's like beating her ass. Really wailing on <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah. She's not getting up. Um, you were yeah. probably like, she ain't getting up. Yeah. No, at first I'm like, damn it. You know, for for a second I'm like, is she gonna? Is this it for? Is this it for? Yeah. Vic? It was great to see her obviously get up and th- one of my favorite scenes is really when she was attacking the wraith. And every like she she smashed the headlight and and um, Manx fell to the floor and, and she's hitting you know, the hood and, and he was like yeah ah, yeah ah, ah. um so to, yeah I mean th- those are some good scenes and obviously when she was chasing after them on the bike and she was trying to shoot at the engine and okay stuff well like that, okay like, well look that I I'm sitting here and my wife was watching with me she's like why is she not shooting the tires I'm like I know. She's literally right there. Like I understand adrenaline and what I'm like. Now we're trying to rationalize a TV show, but what yeah. I'm saying is like at least shoot the tire. Her too. She had like a hundred bullets. You know. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I mean, I kind of saw what she was doing. She was obviously trying to take the engine out, which I think that with the amount of yeah. bullets she put into the wraith, it would have busted up the didn't, engine. But he didn't even. How about the think... motorcycle skills of the stunt rider that's riding? The tree. If yeah. you ever rode like a motorcycle or a dirt bike. I mean, not even so much a dirt bike, because dirt bikes are kind of made for that. But like, a, like a motorcycle to ride. This through is just like a little triumph. Yeah, and this is like, yeah, and, like, oh yeah. I'm like, damn, like she, this girl doesn't mess around. I'm like, nah, I'd be man, yeah. busting my ass. But it was, uh, I mean, there was a lot of, and then, and then cool the hourglass and, man, which who, yeah, right who at we're that gonna get perfect, to perfect time. Yeah, so maybe, right I mean, in. maybe that's a good transition into some of these, some of these questions. Let's do it. First question, Brandon. And, uh, yeah, Brandon from the Facebook group, he he writes in, and you're going to be the perfect person to answer this without spoiling, obviously, uh, for the book readers, uh, for the non-book readers, I should say, is um, was the Hourglass Man in, in the novel, in the book? So the answer to that is no. Okay. To my recollection, no. And I did do a little research on that after getting the question. And it turns out, because I'm like, I don't remember that, man. So there, were, there weren't that many creatives in the novel – um, you do go to the Parnassus and stuff and everything, but you know you you just hear about some of them. But mm-hmm. um, I was like, I don't remember this hourglass man, and I did a little research on it, and it turns out like Joe Hill like walked by the white writers' room for the show and was like, Hey, I got an idea for a really cool creative, like a really powerful creative. And so now we know we we see oh. how, you know, we see how we saw a couple things in this episode which I want to get to. Um, but we see that his power is he can control people for a short amount of time. What I thought yeah. was interesting was how afterwards they, um, they, the dude killed himself. Like he, like, you know, Chris McQueen shot one, the, yeah. the woman, and then the other guy just ended his own life. Now, is that what happens to everybody? Right. I don't know. Does it? Like, do they kill themselves after? Right. Cause he never said it. He never said it when yeah, you're done say... off yourself. Like, you know what um, I mean? Did he? Are we sure about I that? I don't remember him saying that. I don't remember him. He said, just go, go they, get they him. May done. Have... Bring me the kid. He said, bring me the kid. Yeah. They may have said it, but I don't, I don't, I don't think, think he so, did. So I don't think he did. 
Yeah, it was. I mean, he's like a Jedi or a Sith. I mean, he's, that's well, he, he's got that, this that limited time frame, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, so, so here, I just wanted to mention, mm. we also see Vic turn off her bridge. Yeah. So she's gotten better. She just turned around and she told it to go away. So she's gotten yeah. better. I like that. Mm-hmm. I I want to see more of that. I'd like to see more of how these powers, like, how they can be used more purposefully. Like, I want to see the purpose, like, them being used for a purpose. Like, so the Hourglass yeah. Man, obviously. Manx's power, Vic's power is pretty straightforward. She manifests a bridge and she can go to places. Hourglass Man, pretty straightforward. We sees what he did. Um, uh, 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 what's the other guy? Al or whatever? The guy who got him in touch was that the guy's name? Um, the glasses that got him in touch with the with the hourglass Abe. man. Abe, Abe, thank you. Yeah. Abe, the Parnassus, I, the so like the Parnassus isn't the Parnassus the the bartender's one or is that Abe's? That's somebody's. No, that's just in-scape. a place for the strong creator. That's where that's they bring just, their so that because that's where that's they, where they that's where they all, all manifest that they all yeah. bring anyway. What I'm saying is I want to see more of these because again Manx is. Manx's is very complicated. He mm-hmm. he lives. He's immortal because the children are kept in his inscape. So he feeds off the children. He keeps the children fed. They he feeds off of them. That's how he stays alive. But it's very weird because so far he's the only uh, one that I mean, we know he that he really stays alive by the race. But here's the, he. But again, but he's got. But he keeps these children in his inscape. Now that's something nobody else does. We don't know anyone else that does that. That's the thing. Inscapes yeah. and and the same thing like like you know Maggie's tiles. It's like what the the tiles mm-hmm. are. The tiles are the knife, but also the answer. And like his wraith is his life is his knife. Yeah. But also there's a it's bug like a in magic eight room. ball for Maggie. You yeah. Know, it's, it's, yeah. Kind of that same thing, but yeah, I mean, my biggest my biggest question really about Manx and Manx's ability is how how long does does it take him to? It, right. He went from Colorado to New Hampshire, and he's been all around, right? So for me, it's how long does it take for a child to begin to change? Because obviously. Wayne was in the car for a long time, right? And he didn't change yet. He had people trying to get him out and free him and all this kind of stuff, right? So now is it once he starts traveling on the road and then he gets to a specific spot where it turns into the road to Christmas land? So the thing with that is is he, yeah, he'll start to change once they get on the road to Christmas land. So being in the car doesn't necessarily do it. And we yeah, have. Does seen he this turn before. that on? Does he have the ability just to turn it on? Now he's on the like. No, once he doesn't they, have to travel five hundred miles till he gets to the support. You know what I mean? No, no. Once they like, get on, that... once they get on the what is it called? Like the Santa Claus Highway or something? Whatever. I, I forget what, what it's called. Call, yeah. The sli- but once they get on the road to Christmas Land, that now he's traveling to his inscape. Yeah, but where? That's anywhere. No, correct. But he's got to get but he, anywhere. But he's got to get there first. He's got to like yeah. So that allow was like my thing. Like, what's the different? Like yeah. Like right. what's the the distance traveled that you know until it turns? It's because know, uh, I think there's a there's an amount of time it takes for him to drain the child to a point. Because remember he was old. Uh, okay. He would yeah, be yeah. old, and then all of a sudden he'd and get then, uh, yeah. Right. But then again, true. we also yeah. have seen him go from old to. To thirty year old, thirty five year old, out yeah. of the, the bathroom stall in two seconds. So mm-hmm. there's a little bit of disconnect there, but whatever. A lot of magic in the bathroom. A lot of magic in the my bathroom other, stalls. My, so uh, really quick, the la- last thing before we bank out of this question is also with the, again. Manx Manx's power is very different than everyone else apparently because not only is it the the wraith his knife, it's also his. his keeps life. It, yeah, it's his life. You know, if yeah, you if you destroy force, yeah. if you destroy the tiles, yeah. does Maggie die? You know. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, I mean, so let's let's know. keep going. Next question. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, the second question from so, Jesse. Still, uh, uh, this one's from Jesse. Yeah, why uh, hourglass? Why is the hourglass man helping Manx? Hmm. Do you remember? Uh, well, I mean, at first, you know, uh, Hourglass Man didn't want to have anything to do with Abe because obviously Abe was the one that was trying to set this this meeting up. Right. But there was something as soon as Abe mentions it's for Manx that he was intrigued by him. 
So it's maybe somebody that he's looked up to or he knows that maybe there's like an upper echelon of strong creatives or dark creatives. And Manx is one of them Yeah. Um, that the hourglass band just feels I'm going to help this guy out. Uh, uh, there's something about him. I admire him or some, something along those lines. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You agree with that? <laughs> yeah. I had a thought. And then I had another thought, and then I I didn't hear the le- I didn't hear what you said. So now I don't I don't remember what, what was that where we're at. Um, yeah, no, just somebody that admires him, and it's just it's like. Well, I think he did him a favor. I think he owes him a favor. Yeah, but remember, he didn't want to help Abe. He didn't Not Abe. Help... But he owes Manx a favor. And I think he said that. I think I don't think Manx he said, said that. that. No, really, it was just about it was just I about. I um, no. Abe owed Manx a favor. That was what he used to get the meeting between the hourglass man. Oh, and you him. don't think? Yeah, right. No, no. I think I just think that there might be something. It seemed as if they. It's like people that really wanted to meet each other for a while. Again, uh, well, well, we'll see. Like I guess we'll see if he, he, if he of, shows up or something, right? Yeah. Again, but either way, yeah. that guy's a jerk and uh, he hurt my. Oh my god! Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, Jesse has one other question, and that's. Um, yeah. Uh, the doctors were performing crazy, CPR yeah. on Lou in the background there. Once she gets brought in, mm-hmm. um, do, do, yeah, you know, do father's we, getting patched up. It's just, you know, yeah. they're all in the same room together. Do it's we kinda... think, do we think Lou's going to die? What do you think? <sighs> think Lou's going to die? I mean, from the wounds that, from the wounds that we see now, it seems like Chris Vic's father is going to be okay. And what happened to what, Lou just really got busted up pretty good. Got, yeah, he got busted up. He was thrown into the car a bunch of times. In but he said he was and, fine. So I don't know. Maybe he had a heart attack. Well, he said he was, he said he was fine. Um, on the ground. He was fine the first time. No, the second after time. After Bing got him. Bing no. Didn't. After, before she went to go get him on the bike. Oh, that's right. And he's he on the ground. He's like, him, I'm fine. He's him. like leaning yeah. there. Yeah, he's like, you better kill him. So I don't know. I don't want yeah, him I to die. I, I really like him. I, I think he's a good character. I don't want him to die. You know, so. for me, and I and I said this before, in, in I believe episode one, that's where we really started seeing their relationship. Um, and I, I believe I said this during the video. I don't know if I just said this to you off camera, but just really, like, I don't feel the chemistry with them. I I mean, there's just something about the two of them that I don't I don't see that 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 chemistry yeah very you know simply said uh i remember telling you that i think i would have liked it more if he was like the nerdy next door neighbor or something or they're very close but they're friends he's yeah. the he's the he's the guy well, that saved them well it really is it really kind of is though yeah but they're also romantically involved it's not yeah. like this they're they're married you know like right so for me uh, I do think if the writers and the people that are that are that have the the, the vote to, or the ones that who just decide the executive decide that if they want them to if they're not doing a good enough job, but you know between each, them, themselves the characters, then maybe Lou will be the guy that goes because I someone's got to go, right? You feel like yeah, someone's got to go. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Just uh, to it would be a blow. I, I feel. On, yeah. I feel like it would be a blow if if he does. It would so. stink, but yeah. I just don't see them. Uh, they don't. They don't do it for me as far as um, the chemistry for them to be a couple. So I could see maybe the writers thinking along with me and saying, eh, "I don't really like the two of them together. Let's just kill off Lou." Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. move. Let's let's move on next question all right next question is from chris g um chris is saying he's a feeling wayne is a strong creative like his mother uh what do you what do you guys think about that so um i got that sense from this episode as well i won't say anything about the book but as far as the show is concerned i yeah i got that sense what about you yeah Uh, i didn't necessarily see one particular moment where i felt like he you know he has this this um ability or or an ability obviously we see him similar movies and 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 different stories that sometimes kids get these these traits passed on so Mm -hmm. i I could see it happening but maybe it has something to do with 
um, maybe if maybe if there wasn't an ability in Wayne, he wouldn't have been able to communicate with with Manx or something through these through these visions, through these dreams, yeah, dreams that weren't necessarily dreams, but it was really just like um, um, Manx really having a real time kind of communication because he. I guess he. I mean, he was sleepwalking, right? Technically, Wayne. Basically, yeah. Right. So. Basically, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I think there's a possibility. Uh, maybe it has something to do with the the way Manx was able to communicate with him. So who knows? Yeah. Or was it just the candy cane? I don't know. I, I, I like I said, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I did, I did get it. So I had that thought at one point. Yeah. During the episode, like, okay. oh, huh, okay. maybe he might be creative. Um, all right, next question from Valerie. Do you think Wayne will definitely change into a vampire kid now that he's on his way to Christmas land? If so, can he, along with the other children, turn back to normal somehow? This this question we've been actually like talking about every episode since. Yeah, like, yeah. This is one, a question that you and I <laughs> talking about this. Um Yeah. What do you what do you what do you think? Uh, I mean, I kind of touched on it a little bit before and how long it maybe takes before Wayne starts to to change. Uh, you know, we were talking about this just moments ago, really, about how far Manx has to travel and things like that. So, um, I mean, I think he's definitely going to change. How else is he really going to get out of out of the Wraith now? He's not, and and right. he's not. his family is all beaten up and they're all in the hospital. Who knows if Lou is going to survive, that kind of a thing. So as of right now, I mean, I really do think that, that Manx can um, – excuse me, that Wayne will change. But this kind of, I have no idea. I didn't read the book. Chris, you obviously read the book, but I've been, we've been, like you said, kicking around this question for a little while now. So I think that because Wayne is such a main character that it almost answers the question for us that there is a way that he'll be able to come back. Because I can't just see that that Wayne goes there and that's it. And yeah. that Vic will never get him back. I don't know if she sacrifices herself for 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 um for wayne so he becomes normal again but i think as soon as i found out that that wayne was captured and then he was on his way that there's a way that for all of the kids not just him to go back yeah that way i don't know but that's that's what i'm thinking right now that that definitely will be a way for wayne along with the other children to to maybe be able to come back from okay. from christmas land right. i'm not really going to answer that question Okay. Because I know it happens. But what I'll, well, I know it happens yeah. in the book, and which I won't yeah. say here. I don't want to spoil anything. But mm -hmm. I will say that if he's on his way to Christmas Land, he will begin to change. And there's, 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 no, there's yeah. no getting around that. So he is going to, he's going to go through the process. So. Maybe there'll be like a Rocky, like a Rocky segment where he's like, if I change and you, <laughs> you guys change. can change. We can. We all can, we can change. All can cha Maybe that's what he'll do. Maybe, Maybe he'll, he'll do. Yeah, Wayne will reference Rocky Four or right. Rocky. It is right? Rocky Four. Oh, it's Rocky Four, right? And um, he's in Russia. And the other children, Cold, the, going kid, to the kid vampires, are the Russians. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, and he's like, if I can change, and then you can change, <laughs> we all can change. And then Manx hits him over the head with the bone crusher. That's uh, it. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Uh, last question from Melissa D. Uh, what will happen to Bing after he ran off? Ah! That's what happened to him. He just cried. Uh, I don't know why Bing ran off. He had a fucking limitless fucking. Yeah, he had, the, he, had the, he had the, the he super clip. Fucking, he had the infinity yeah. clip from you know his yeah. destiny. He gun. had like a ray gun. Yeah, like infinite so, ammo. I, you know what, man? I'm gonna tell you, he'll be fine. This guy's always fine, man. He'll he's always yeah. Made I think it there's out. more for him. Yeah, but... he's fine. You know, he, there were yeah. some. There were. There were. There was a, a a scene that told a lot, and that was when Whit Manx and Bing were in the car, and he's like, "Oh, I forgot exactly what Manx said to him, but like, the children are gonna eat you up." Oh, they, they, like yeah, that. they're gonna feast. It's so, gonna be. There's yeah, gonna be a feast yeah. like you've never seen before. Yeah. He said. So yeah, because he's like, "I want uh, chocolate and cookies and this and that," and yeah. So it's and he's it's, like, we oh, obviously there's know gonna, with obviously the, he's gonna feed yeah. Him to we obviously what know does, what. Yeah what Manx's plan is with Bing after he did everything uh, for, for Manx. So he's obviously using him. So Bing runs off. I don't think it's the last we're going to see of him. Um, you know, yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm not sure. I mean, what else can we say? But he didn't yeah. die. And you never, you never rule somebody out for living or dying and let you see it happen on screen, really. So yeah. 
That's why I think maybe our boy Lou even has a chance still. Um, yeah, so we'll I we'll see. Yeah, you know? I I also want to know where did Chris go? Where did Chris McQueen go? Like through all that, like he like completely. Well, he was he was right there, right, and he just told her to leave. No, like in between. Oh no all no, that. no no! He said that. Um, oh oh oh! Yeah, he was off before somewhere. Before he, he rescued, up, yeah 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 yeah. When he up, shot Bing, when he shot Bing. When he shot shoot Bing, Bing. Yeah. Where did he go? Yeah. Did he go to fix his leg? Was he in the house? Maybe he crawled in the house and he had to like fix his leg and then. Well, they did a lot of the shots, like you said earlier. They did a lot of these. Yeah, but he got before. shot Maybe before. They'll do that next. He got shot uh, before. We can see it next week what happened in yeah. between all that. Because they yeah. did some fantastic shots that way. Maybe they'll do it again next week. Yeah. And they'll kind of give us an idea of where Chris was this whole time. But uh All right, yeah, listen, I that's mean, it, man. I think that's, that's it. it. Halfway I th- through. I think yeah, we talked about through. it enough. Uh once again, mm-hmm. thank you everybody for the questions. We really do appreciate yeah, it. It's, it's awesome. really fun hearing awesome. what you guys think and what you guys want to know. Yes. Uh yes. again, we are just two two idiots on YouTube talking about this yeah. show, but it's yeah, fun. We, are. we like it. Thank you for ta- you know giving us the, <laughs> the support and, and giving us those questions. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, you guys can check us out at Third Person Pod and all the social media outlets. We're always going to be posting when um, you know what we're up to. Uh, obviously, before every one of these episodes, we'll always put up a post in the poll. So just get your questions. Continue getting your questions in. Like Chris said, we love getting that stuff from you guys. I mean, it makes these videos so much better than than just sitting there and and, and just re- recapping. The episode by getting questions from you guys we kind of talk about the whole the episode as a whole right. um going through all of these so we really it's just a fun way for for us and it's great for the support that you guys show us constantly every week so we appreciate yeah. that stuff yep all right that's it you know where to get yes. us you know where to get us go watch the john yeah. bruno interview for tell a friend yeah tell a friend yeah it's you know what to do join the facebook yeah. group yeah that's fine it's down below and uh, yeah, listen, have a great week. Enjoy. I'm sunburned, so hopefully you guys got some sunburn. Yeah. And spend the time out in the yard. And, uh, you know, still, you know, staying away from everyone that I possibly can because I hate everyone. So perfect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so be safe, and we'll see you next week. Absolutely. Bye. Bye.